the Court of Appeals found in our case in the year 2000 that the allegations of antitrust in any other case would apply except this one, mm -hmm. in which case they gave Network Solutions immunity from antitrust prosecution mm -hmm. in order to let the U.S. Department of Commerce, who had actually taken over the contract from the National Science Foundation and rewrote it, putting in Amendment 11, which stated clearly articulated the chain of command that was missing when we first sued to let the Department of Commerce allow ICANN to decide. And ICANN was created two years after we started our lawsuit mm -hmm. with Network Solutions. So somehow midstream, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the government intervened in the case. We joined them as a defendant on First Amendment grounds. And they tried to derail us, basically, mm -hmm. which they successfully ended up doing. They mm -hmm. derailed us. They derailed us by I guess convincing the court to make a political decision. Mm -hmm. Because the, if you read the uh, Court of Appeals decision in our case, it, it didn't say that the immunity was given for any statutory grounds. It was a, a conduct-based immunity. It was a special formulation in this case to allow Network Solutions to have immunity mm -hmm. to route around the antitrust law. Mm -hmm to let the government make a policy decision. So the court's decision was not based on statute, because had it been, we would have prevailed mm -hmm. as MCI beat ATT. Mm -hmm. But instead, they found in favor of network solutions for policy reasons.